always somebody, isn't there, eh? <clears throat> somebody who wants to be awkward. Just won't be interested. Doesn't matter what you do. Just like you, Casper. Come on. I'll give you two minutes. Two minutes to think of something or the whole class comes back before it comes. Come on, Casper, just tell me you like a nail. Here's a nail. Come on. That's it. Tell him. What about your Casper? If anybody else calls out, it'll be the last call they make. Speed. He's got his hawks and he goes mad over it. He never knocks about with anybody else. He just goes with hawk all the time. He's crackers over it. But if he any road. All right, Casper. Sit down. Come on, come on. Tell us about this hawk. Where did you get it from? I found it, sir. Where? In the woods. Where did you keep it? In a shed. What did you feed it on? Beef, mice, birds. Well, isn't it cruel to keep it in a shed? I mean, wouldn't it be happier flying free? I don't keep it in shed all the time, sir. Fly it every day. Doesn't it fly away? I thought they were wild birds. Of course it don't fly away, sir. <laughs> train it. Well, are you going to tell us about it? How do you train a hawk? We have to be right careful with him, sir. Right patient. You've got to feed him when they're hungry, sir. You, know, you can do, only do out when they're at feeding time, like, sir. Yeah? You've got to use Jesses on, sir, all the time. These what? Jesses, sir. How do you spell that? J E. All right, come on. Come on. I'm going to show it on the board. <laughs> Jesses. is a new word to me. Hands up those who've heard of Jesses before. Nobody. Go on, write it up then. Tell us what the is. Well, the leather straps are they attach to birds' feet. And say I've got a bird on the end, straps go down the end, then they swivel. Swivel, right down on the board. Then you've got your leash. Leash on the board? I fit it on my hand first. Then when it got to know me, I fit it on my glove. And after a while, I put it two inches away from its claws. And uh, like that, like. Started to jump. Thought me eat. When it started to jump, I could move my hand away. Oh, yeah, that's all we can see. Could move my hand away, like. To four inches and six inches. And when it was doing that, I started it doing it with leash. Do, do they need water, like? You know, when you've got a budgie and you put water in the budgie's case, do you need water? Do they need water like that? Well, it like as a bath. It is a bath right early on in morning, like. When do you feed it? How many times a day? To start off with, three or four times, you know, to get it plump. You make it all sound very exciting, Billy. It is, sir, but most exciting thing when I flew free first time, sir. Do you want to hear about that? Yes, sir. Aye, come on. Well, it was, I'd been using crayons for about a week, and it had been going 30, 40 yards. And it says when birds go in 30, 40 yards, it says in book, that it's time that it can start to fly free. Well, I'd been, you know, I'd been wanting to fly free, but I, I didn't, you know, I freed it to fly off or something like that. And I, it, this had been going on for four or five days and keep on to me sin, saying that fly it free next day. Anyway, I got right mad with me sin. I says, right, I'm flying it free tomorrow. Anyway, that night, that Friday night it was, I didn't feed her up so that she'd be sharp set next morning. And I went to bed that night, Friday night, and... I didn't get an hour's sleep at all. I freaked you know, freaking about bird. <coughs> She'd fly off or something like that. Anyway, when morning came, I kept on saying to me, saying, well, if she flies off, she flies off, and it can't be helped. So I took Swivel off and let her up onto the post. There were no stopping her now. She could fly off. All were on her were Jess's. I thought she must fly off. She, she's supposed to fly off. But she didn't. She just stood there, all terrified. Well, anyway... She was stood there and I walked off into the field and she was looking around all over the place and when I got in about 70 yards from her in the middle of the field, I called her. Kiss, kiss, come on, kiss, come on then. No, it happened. So I thought, well, I better walk back and pick her up. So while I was walking back, I saw her flying. She came like a bomb. About a yard off floor, light lightning, head still, and you couldn't hear wings. They wanted sound front wings and straight onto the glove. Wham! And she'll grab me for me eat. Anyway, I'll please me, saying I didn't know what to do. 
So I thought, well, I, I better do it again just to prove that it won't look. So I took her back onto the post and walked back up into the middle of the field and called her again. And she came just as good as first time, straight onto the glove and grabbing for mate. Well, that was it, sir. I, I trained her, sir, and that all I could do. I think you've done enough, don't you? Well done, Billy. Bring out the report.